Today on Cabela's Deer Gear TV, we are hunting with Performance Center handguns. We'll join Wade for an early season handgun hunt. And then later, Tony Mealy and Wade go rattling. All this and more here on Cabela's Deer Gear TV. Handgun hunting is becoming one of our top favorite ways to hunt white-tailed deer. In this episode, we'll showcase not only two great handgun hunts, but two great performance center handguns, the 460 XVR and the model 629 44 Magnum Hunter. Let's join Wade on the range as he gets ready for his hunt with the performance center 460 XVR. Uh, right now, I'm preparing for an upcoming uh, handgun hunt. I'm going to take out the Smith & Wesson 460 XVR. I've got a Trigicon uh, red dot basically set up on it. And I'm going to be hunting on a pond dam. And this pond dam kind of overlooks, a, 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 you know, the back end of the dam, which is filled with oaks. And it's a valley, and there's a little kind of a creek that runs through that area. And my shot opportunities, I'm going to say, are... I can probably see 60, 80 yards, so I could shoot that far, but most of my shot opportunities based on what we're seeing on scouting cameras are gonna be 25 to 35 yards. So what I wanna do is, in my mind, is prepare for that. I wanna make sure that ballistically my 460 is set up for that shot. Obviously the 460 can form tremendous distances with a lot of downrange energy and accuracy, but for this situation here, I wanna make sure that I'm maybe a half an inch, inch high when I'm down on the range at, at 25, so that if I do shoot out a little further, you know, I'm gonna be okay and, and I know my aiming points there. So come down to the range, set in a same or, you know, basically elevation type seat. Now in the blind, I'll be sitting in a Cabela's uh, chair that swivels and everything's real comfortable. I am going to take the death grip bog pod in there because it's going to give me the best stability. And, and for me, I always want to have the best stability when I'm hunting. And then also while I'm down on the range, I'm going to do some trigger uh, practice, you know, just getting reacclimated with that trigger pull because everything's different, whether I'm shooting a crossbow, shooting my compound, shooting a rifle, and kind of just get in that mindset and, and be prepared with all the gear that I'm going to take into the field in that situation. Let's learn more about the Performance Center 460 XVR that Wade is using for this hunt. What's unique about the gun is the fact that it has an integral rail. You can mount your optics, whether it be a scope or a red dot to it. Fiber optic sights for quicker target acquisition. It's got a muzzle brake to help reduce recoil. Also helping reduce recoil is the fact that it's got an unfluted cylinder, which adds a little bit more weight to the gun. A Hogue overmolded grip with a gel pack, once again, helping your hand with the recoil and it's got a Smith & Wesson Performance Center action where you can expect about a three and a half pound single action trigger pull and around a 10 pound double action trigger pull. So another great feature about the 460 is the fact that you can shoot three calibers with the gun. Not only the 460, but the 454 Casul and the 45 Long Colt. So for those days that you're out on the range and you just want to do a little practicing, that 45 Long Colt is a dream to shoot. And when it comes time to go hunting, you grab the 460 to 454 Casul, and that'll get the job done on just about any North American game animal. People ask me, what differentiates performance center products from our standard products? Well, you know, first off, the products leave with an action package out of, out of the Performance Center. So like I said, the trigger pulls are lighter and smoother, and you can expect about a three and a half pound single action trigger pull, and a double action trigger that's gonna be about 10 pounds. And that's significantly different than our standard products. You also get specialty sights, specialty grips, specialty finishes. I mean, when you look at a Performance Center product, you definitely see a difference between standard products and our products. So you know, if you wanna find out more about what Smith & Wesson Performance Center really is, you can visit our website. We've got a lot of videos up there, uh, YouTube videos that you can really take a look at all the different products we offer and get a real feeling for how we manufacture them, how we build them, and you know, just what they're all about. When we return, we'll join Wade out in the field. Don't go anywhere. Deer Gear is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Garmin Zero Bowsight. Leave the guesswork behind. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. 
Bass Pro Shops, and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus, free two-day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. How do you aim a 36-yard shot with a 30-yard fixed pin at a 15-degree angle with a 7-inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto-ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. We're joining Wade on day two of his handgun hunt. Yesterday he had several encounters with some great bucks, but they never maneuvered into a place where Wade could take a shot. I mean, there was a dozen to 15 bucks come through there yesterday. It's really pretty exciting of a, of a place to sit. And uh, we're on a pond dam looking down into a bottom that's got a mix of live oaks. I mean, they look like to me they're just eating and chilling and bedding and relaxing. I mean, you could just constantly see deer moving in a lot of different directions. It's a place a deer want to be this this time of year, a place where the acorns fall first. You know, you get overflow from the ponds, keeps it uh, everything growing more lush right there. And so I just, man, it's where they want to be. So it's where we're going to be set up on that pond dam. And uh, we got that pond behind us where some big ones come to water and, and you know, maybe one of those deer will get out in front of us. We know the deer in the area, and that's the number one thing when you're climbing up into a stand. As the sun begins to shine through the canopy of oak trees, a bachelor group of bucks have been feeding in front of the blind. With all the trees and branches in the way, Wade can't get a clear shot on any of them. A super wide buck that was in the group that drank at the pond last night has now moved into view. Only one problem, the deer is standing directly behind a tree.
several times. I really don't know. I mean, he just, he was here, he was there, he was here, he was there. And there was one little tree that was just totally blocking his vitals. He was quartering and I put it right there his shoulder and squeezed off what well, felt like a pretty good shot. And he's, I, man, I know these 460s is so awesome to be able to go do. You can, you know, it's got a lot of power and this type's a tight terrain, tight conditions right here. And I mean, he just, it's something that I've become addicted to for a long time. I've got a Trichicon RMR so red dot on here that really gives you some fast acquisition in this type of cover right here. So we're going to take a few deep breaths and then go see what uh, what we got. been about 20 minutes since we took the shot. I've been in there trying to eat an apple to calm down. My uh, heart's pounding is going hard from that whole morning and the visions of last night and how this this was just an awesome hunt and there were several great bucks out there and it's just i mean they're just was doing everything in here milling around it's just a matter of getting one to get into position and finally we got one to get into position and that was freaking awesome i mean i think i smoked him i mean it just looks like double lungs you know that's where i was aiming it's probably 25 27 yards max he got behind that tree and he stood behind that tree forever my hands were <laughs> Or sweating and shaking and whew, that's where you practice and you know the muscle memory just takes over and, and you just just it just all happens it makes you just go get my hands on him I mean he I mean when you got to turn your head sideways to get through the brush that's a giant he's really kicking it out right there Oh, I see big deer down right there. He's right there. I mean, the 460 did his job. That's going to be a 60 yard, 70 yard run. Oh, man. <laughs> look at that. That's what you want to see. I mean, look how big that deer looks from here. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I mean, that's the most incredible hunt. The whole time we were sitting, you could see all these deer. Now you get kind of a view really what's going on you know they're getting in the shade and they come in they drift out and they go back out and you see them wandering everywhere god what a deer what a deer what a deer holy cow what a deer wow wow what a deer oh my gosh what a deer look at that I mean, that's an absolute giant. Look at that, it is so cool the way it goes up right there and there's even a little tie those almost grew together right there. God, he's wide. Look at the brows. What a phenomenal deer. All the way around. I mean, it just destroyed him. I mean, that 460, that's... That's some damage right there. I mean, he was slightly, slightly, slightly quartering towards me. And, you know, this was, was where I was going to blow through. And I knew, based on what I've been able to do with that gun on the range and in the past in hunting situations, that, you know, it was going to perform perfect for what I was doing. And, you know, with the whether you're hunting with open sights or hunting with something like what I've got on here from Trigicon, that RMR, Red Dot, I mean, it's a fast, easy way to acquired the target. I mean, I could sit right there. I had the fog death grip. I mean, you just couldn't have had a more stable shot. I mean, you just pretty much could go down there and put it where you want to. That's phenomenal. Look at that deer. <laughs> when we return, we go rattling with Performance Center's own Tony Mealy and Wade. Stay tuned. Deer Gear is brought to you by Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. Walkers, protect it or lose it. Ingle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. Hi Viz, see what you've been missing. Inside every Yamaha lives the heart and soul of a competitor. The DNA of a champion. When you ride with us, it revs your heart and becomes a part of you too.
The Thompson Center Compass II, a feature-rich rifle packed with value and a higher standard of reliable accuracy. Now with Generation 2 trigger and threaded muzzle, offered in scoped and non-scoped versions and in a wide variety of calibers, from the range to the fields to the mountains, TC has a rifle to match every hunter's needs. Over the last few years, Tony has joined us every December for a handgun hunt for Whitetail. From his unforgettable head-on shot, that 44 mag from the performance center smoked him. Congrats, Tony. <laughs> good a boy, good shooting. To rattling deer up close and personal. You put the smack on that. <laughs> good job, dude. That's a good shot, Tony. We've always been treated to an exciting hunt when Tony joins us. You know, for somebody that never rattled before, they've deer hunted, they've done it out of blinds or out of stands, there's no comparison. I'd rather do this more than anything. It's, it, you're busy all the time. Like I said, you set up for about 20 minutes, you rattle, you get some deer coming in. There's always something going on. You always see some type of game and just a lot more fun than sitting in a blind waiting for something to show up. During the hunt today, Tony will be using the Performance Center 629 44 Magnum Hunter. Let's hear his thoughts on handgun hunting and how his passion for utilizing them has evolved over the years. If anybody's ever saw some of the shows I've been on before, they've heard me talk about the Performance Center 629 Hunter. It by and large is my favorite gun to go deer hunting with. Gets the job done, they don't go too far. And if you've hunted with a rifle, you hunt it with a bow, you know, you might want to think about trying handgun hunting. It's, it's really fun. I've taken a handgun hunting, you know, 15, 20 years ago, and once I started, that was it. That's all I do. You know, Smith & Wesson probably makes, in my opinion, the best handguns on the market today. And the Performance Center, what they do is they make that gun that much better. So we put integral rails on it. We do action jobs. So your, your trigger's a lot lighter, a lot smoother. You don't have to worry about your mount coming loose because it's integral to the barrel. We put compensators on, so less muzzle flip. So you get that follow-up shot on the animal if you have to take it that much quicker. You know, to find out more about Performance Center products, you just have to go to Smith & Wesson's website, click on the area that says Performance Center, you'll see all the different products we offer. We offer, you know, concealed carry guns, hunting handguns, as well as rifles. Just a plethora of opportunity there to pick from. From hand cutting and fine tuning for precision, Performance Center guarantees top performance from its firearms and promises to deliver your best shot yet. Coming up, we're getting right to the action and joining Tony and Wade as they set out on a rattling mission to draw in a Texas whitetail. Deer Gear is brought to you by Conquest Sense, Hunting and Dog Sense, 10 Point Crossbows, Perfection Lives Here, Thompson Center, America's Master Gunmaker. This changes everything. The Ultra Compact Vapor RS 470. The AccuSlide Safe Decocking System revolutionizes the crossbow market. Simply backwind the handle, stopping at any point without fear of damage, injury, or losing control. Its reverse draw design generates 470 V per second. Its three and a half pound zero creep trigger delivers same hole accuracy. The all new Vapor RS 470 from 10 Point. joining Tony on his second day of his rattling handgun hunt here in Texas. So we're, we're down in South Texas. We're gonna do a little rattling today. Uh, we rattled last night a little bit, saw a few deer. We're hoping this morning it's a little bit cooler. We're hoping to get a little bit more action with the bucks chasing the does. The deer really weren't moving around. Uh, it's a little bit cooler this morning, so we're hoping they're gonna move around a lot better. So hopefully we get it done this morning.
And we go to this first spot, we set up on it, and he says, you know, I really want to try this area. I know there's a lot of deer in it. He says, I think this will be a good opportunity to do some rattling. He starts rattling, and uh, I don't think we were there probably 10 minutes. We've got does all over the place. We've got bucks coming in from behind us. And for whatever reason, our scent doesn't seem to bother them. They're just all over us. When you have these animals pop out in front of you and you got your gun up and they take off on just like that, you, you can be frustrated, but if you just stick with it, it's gonna happen. And there's plenty of animals here. I don't get disappointed not being able to shoot, but sometimes there's a real nice one you'd really like to get the shot at and it just doesn't happen. Oh, we got in this morning, we got set up here. Um, weed started rattling, rattling a pretty good size one behind us. I couldn't turn around and take a shot at it but it took off. Uh, a couple minutes later, he rattled again. He brought another buck in. I was about two ounces away from dropping a hammer on that thing and it took off. You don't get a lot of time. It's a really quick uh, encounter and off you went. After just missing out on taking that buck, Wade and Tony decide to move to a new location and to stick with this tactic of moving around to maximize their chances of stirring up some deer movement. And so they moved and moved and moved again until finally settling into an area they hunted last year with some promising opportunity. So we went in, we set up, he starts rattling, two doe come out into the field. We didn't seem to bother them after a while. They settled down, they're walking around in there and uh, in comes the first buck. He comes in and he's, he's coming in from the left and he's kind of following those does. I tried to bring the gun up, but he just, he was behind a bunch of bush and he never really actually came in and he went off to the left with those does. Looked back, here comes another buck. Yeah, he's behind it for me too. Kind of an old timer. Not the best rack in the world, but it'll do. You know, this rattling is kind of tough, so it's one of those things. You've got nothing in front of you. You crack the horns a couple of times. The next thing you know, you got a couple of does, and then we got these two bucks come in. It just goes from nothing to high intensity, just like that. That's a Smith Wesson Performance Center 629. It's 44 Magnum. One shot, down he went, you know? Nothing like it. Congrats, Tony, on harvesting this great management buck. For more information on Performance Center handguns, visit smith-wesson.com and click Performance Center. That will conclude this episode of Cabela's Deer Gear TV. We'll see you next time. I love my Fusion wireless camera. It is the easiest cell cam I've ever set up. Download the command app. Scan the QR code. Everything is done on your phone. All kinds of affordable and different data plans. For as little as $5 a month, you can have your trail cam pictures sent right to your cell phone. You can go into the app, you can change all the camera settings, you can change all the upload settings, and it's got a feature where you can map out where your cameras are. It shows you when the activity has been in front of your cameras. Check it out, the Fusion wireless camera from Stealth Cam. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. Smells like deer. 
and then pouring each container. Each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercalm, from Conquest Scents. From sun up to sun down, day in and day out, we work hard. We play hard. And to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. From the backwoods, to the backyard. Sawyer's Permethrin, odorless insect repellent, repels and kills mosquitoes, ticks, and other harmful insects. And with just one application lasting for up to six weeks, you can enjoy the outdoors as much as we do. <laughs> Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. It's in our nature to protect, defending our heritage, our way of life, and the ones we love. It's your right. Don't give it up. Protect it or lose it. Walkers. Want to know why the top shooting pros choose HiViz? HiViz has an enormous lineup of sights for every shooting platform possible that are clean looking and easy to mount. Improve your shooting with faster target acquisition and eliminate cross-eyed dominance. HiViz sights are the brightest out there, helping you find your target with ease no matter the shooting conditions. Choose the best, choose HiViz, and see what you've been missing. I came back from Afghanistan with a traumatic brain injury. I couldn't talk. I still can't talk right. I didn't want to leave the house. Then my wife, God bless her, she got me off the couch and said, hey, enough's enough. You got to get back outdoors. The hunting gave me a whole new purpose, you know. It sped up my recovery big time. When I was deployed, I trusted Trigicon, Con, and I still do today. Sergeant Rob Gustafson, U.S. Army retired. Trigicon, brilliant aiming solutions. Money took the box blind industry by storm with the bull. Now they've taken it to the next level with the penthouse. Increased size, larger windows, insulated panels, and everything you've come to expect from an industry leader. Revolutionary designs for any weapon and any situation. Change the way you hunt with a box blind from Muddy Outdoors. Check out Muddy's full line of box blinds today at GoMoney.com.